Assalamu alaikum welcome to Farm and Farm and today in this video we will learn about the bilayer tablets in this video we will discuss what is the bilayer tablet what is the other name which is used for the bilayer tablet and when we use the concept of bilayer tablets and what is the principle of compression for the bilayer tablets what are the defects of bilayer tablets and how we can overcome the bilayer tablets defect so if you have not subscribed my channel first of all press the subscribe button and now let's start our video bilayer tablet bilayer tablet is also known as double layer tablet so what is a double layer tablet or bilayer tablet the type of the tablet where we compress two active pharmaceutical ingredients in two different layers and then combine these two layers by applying the main pressure to compress a single tablet is known as bilayer tablets in simple words bilayer tablet is the type of tablet which contain two active pharmaceutical ingredients in two different layers these two layers are joined together by the pressure so next one is that when we use bilayer concept mean what are the purpose of bilayer tablet manufacturing or in which circumstances we go toward the manufacturing of bilayer tablets we usually use bilayer tablet concept where we want to get different release patterns we will discuss one by one in detail and we use bilayer concept where our active pharmaceutical ingredients are incompatible with each other and we use double layer tablet or bilayer tablet concept where we want to avoid the intake of multiple tablets so what is the different release pattern suppose that we want to get the two different release patterns in a single tablet mean we want to manufacture a tablet with two active pharmaceutical ingredients and out of these two active pharmaceutical ingredients one should give us sustain release effect and other should give us immediate release effect so for this we will take two active pharmaceutical ingredients and we will manufacture it in different layers mean for active pharmaceutical ingredient a we will use separate granulation method for active pharmaceutical ingredient b we will use separate granulation method we can use either wet granulation dry granulation or direct compression method and then we will combine these two active pharmaceutical ingredients by layer concept in form of single tablet so here the first layer will be the layer of immediate release active pharmaceutical ingredient which give immediate effect and other layer will be the layer of active pharmaceutical ingredient which give us the sustain release effect so next one is that we use a double layer concept where our two active pharmaceutical ingredients are incompatible with each other mean we cannot manufacture these two apis in a single granulation process so we use two different granulation processes for active pharmaceutical ingredient a and active pharmaceutical ingredient b then we compress them into different layers and combine them in the form of single tablet where one layer is for api a and other layer is for api b how these tablets are compressed we will discuss later on in the section of bilayer tablet manufacturing or bilayer tablet compression principle next one is to avoid multiple tablets intake mean we use the bilayer tablet concept for manufacturing of two apis and combine them in single tablet so patient can take single tablet instead of the two tablets mean instead of taking tablet for api a separately and api b separately when we compress them in the form of double layer tablet the patient can take single tablet and can the effect of both these apis so it was an overview about why we use the double layer tablet manufacturing concept now the most important part is the principle which is used to compress the bilayer tablets for bilayer tablets we use a double feed tablet compression machine and it is the 
डी टाइप टैबलेट कंप्रेशन मशीन टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ बाइले टैबलेट हैव अवर लुक ओवर द रफ डायग्राम हेयर वी हैव अ डबल फी टैबलेट कंप्रेशन मशीन हैविंग टू हापर सो वी एड लेयर ऑफ वन एपीआई इन फर्स्ट हापर एंड वी एड सेकेंड लेयर ऑफ अदर एपीआई इन द अदर हापर मीन वी एड सेपरेट लेयर इन टू सेपरेट हापर आवर हापर फर्स्ट विल कंटेन द ग्रेन्यूल ऑफ फर्स्ट लेयर विच विल कंटेन वन एपीआई एंड आवर हापर टू विल कंटेन द लेयर ऑफ सेकेंड ग्रेन्यूल विच विल कंटेन द सेकेंड एपीआई सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ग्रेन्यूल और पाउडर फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट हापर इज फिल्ड इन टू द डाइज and we apply a small amount of the pressure by using pre compression rollers to compress a soft tablet mean for first layer we just apply a little pressure to manufacture a soft tablet so this tablet is the layer 1 tablet or first api containing tablet when these dies move towards the second hopper mean when turret rotates our dies also move and when these dies pass through the feed frame of the second hopper the powder or granules of the other layer is added over the first layer tablet and when these pass through the main pressure rollers these are compressed together to form a single tablet so in this way two layers are combined together in a single tablet for brief overview from first hopper first layer powder is added into the die soft tablet is manufactured by using pre pressure then second layer powder or granules are filled and these two layers are compressed together by the main pressure and then tablet is ejected so in this way two apis are compressed in separate layers and are combined together by using the main compression force so our double layer tablets are manufactured one most important concept is that how we can check the weight of double layer tablets for the first layer an ejection system is provided mean when a soft tablet is manufactured we can eject the soft layer of the tablet and can check its weight and how we will check the weight of the tablet mean how we will check the weight of two layers when a tablet is compressed for this a conventional technique is used mean we use sharp edge cutting blade and we place it over the margin or over the point where two layers join with each other when we apply a little force two layers are separated and we can easily measure the weight of first layer and second layer and these two layers weight must be as per the bmr so next one is that what are the defects of bilayer tablets or double layer tablets Co most commonly observed defects in bilayer tablets are the color bleeding or color contamination and other one is the layer separation or delamination so what is the color contamination color contamination is observed in, in those tablets where we use color for any layer and when we use the color then color escape from the feeder and this color may contaminate the other layer so color of one layer is observed in second layer this one is known as color bleeding or color contamination what are the reasons of color bleeding our feeder adjustment may not be proper so powder may escape due to the leakages our suction system may not be good so powder is not removed properly so how we can overcome these problems properly adjust the feeder to avoid any type of the leakages a strong suction system should be applied to remove any color product when it leak from the feeder and third one is that double granulation or triple granulation process can be used if you want to know about what is double granulation and triple granulation must comment i will record the separate video next one is a delamination delamination is also known as layer separation so it is a defect where our two layers are separated when our tablet is compressed or in simple words when we use the friability test two layers are separated what are the reasons our granule size may be very large or our pre compression may be very high so reduce the granule size and reduce the pre compression pressure for the first layer so it was all about the bilayer tablets or double layer tablets if you want to learn details in form of an article i will provide the link of article also visit my website farmandform.com if you like the video share it to others subscribe my channel till the next video allah hafiz